okay, it's nearing the end of the semester and you're wondering like, what do I need to get on my final to get a certain grade in the class, right? So this is oftentimes referred to as like a weighted average problem. And I'm gonna show you an example here and you can kind of modify it for your particular uh, situation. So let's go ahead and dive in here. If your test scores are 65, 68, and 75, and each count as 20% of your grade. So you know, 20% for this test, 20, et cetera. So that's like 60% of your grade. But your final, let's say, is worth 40% of your grade. What do you need to get on your final exam to get a solid C? Let's say that's what you're shooting for. Let's say a 73% in the class. So the way I would set this up is I would take the 65, and that's worth uh, 20%. So we're just gonna say uh, 0.20 plus the second test was worth 20%, okay, plus the third test, okay, is worth 20%, and then we're trying to figure out what to get on the final. We don't know what that's gonna be. We're gonna call that X, and that's worth 40%, okay, 40% as a decimal is 0 0.40, and we wanna end up with a 73%, but I'm gonna say 72.5, okay, because really 72.5, your teacher's gonna round that up to a 73, and you know, that'll be your solid C that you're going for. So how do we solve this equation? Well, I'm gonna to go to the calculator here. Now notice that I'm using 65 and not 65%. So I'm just trying to keep it simple, like 65, 68. These are the percentages, but we're just, I'm just using whole numbers here. So let's go ahead and multiply these together. So 65 times 0 0.2 uh, is 13, okay? And 68 times 0 0.2, oops. 68 times 0 0.2 is 13.6 and 75 times 0.2 is 15, and then this is 0.4x, and that's equal to 72.5. Okay, combining like terms, 13 plus 13.6 plus 15, we're at 41.6 plus 0.4x uh, is equal to 72.5. We're gonna subtract the 41.6 from both sides, so 0.4x is equal to 72.5 minus the 41.6. So just basic algebra here, right? So 30.9, and we're gonna divide both sides by 0.4 to figure out what x is. That's what we're gonna to have to get on our final grade. So uh, let's see what this comes out to. It's coming out to a 77.25. So maybe to be safe, you might say, well, if I can get a 78% on the final, that's gonna bring me up to a 73. 